It's useful sometimes to flag certain clients that have special needs or who have challenging pets. And sometimes it's useful to have a quick visual indicator to tell you something else useful about a client. LeashTime's client flagging feature gives you this ability and lets you designate some of your flags as office use only. LeashTime also lets you find clients according to how they are flagged as well. Before you attach a flag to a client, you have to set up your global flag list. If we look in the Client Management submenu in the Admin menu, we can do just that. When we start out, we can see that no flags are set up. Let's say we want to set up a flag to use with clients who have aggressive dogs. First, we would enter the title Aggressive Dog and then click the box next to it. Here we can choose one of the available icons to represent an aggressive dog, such as this scary specimen. And then, let's say we want to make a flag for clients with dogs who are on medications. We would choose the RX icon and type in Medicated. Or we might simply want to indicate whether customers have dogs, cats, or birds. And then there are flags that we don't ever want the client to see. Perhaps a client is known to be unreasonable at times. We could choose a symbol and enter a discrete title, touchy client. Or maybe the client's house has a slippery walkway or safety hazards indoors. Caution. To make sure no client ever sees these symbols on a visit sheet, we check the office only box next to each. We save our changes and now we are ready to start flagging clients. Let's look at our client Rudy Bastian by typing his name in the search box. Next to his name we now see a note telling us to click to enter flags. We see all of the flags that we just defined so now we can indicate that Rudy has a cat, that his dog Madison is aggressive, and that Rudy is a touchy client. If we want to, we can add notes to some of the flags. We'll type Madison dislikes other dogs by way of explanation and save our changes. We can now see the flags we have applied to this client. If we hover the mouse over a flag, we see either its generic title or the specific note that we added to the flag. We can change the flags by clicking on them. Maybe Rudy has gotten a parrot and maybe we decide Rudy isn't such a problem client after all but that his house is full of tripping hazards. Let's take a look at Rudy's visit sheet. We can see all of his flags except the caution flag which we designated office only since it might offend the customer if he happened to see it. Client flags are useful in another way. When we broadcast email to our clients from the client's email alerts menu item, we can now use our flags to filter our client list along with the other available criteria. I filter on clients with any of the selected flags, for example, and then choose the aggressive dog flag, and it returns a list with only Rudy's name. How you choose to use the client flags feature is up to you. Some businesses add all of the cat and dog icons to their flag list and use them to show how many dogs and cats a client has. Others use just one dog icon to indicate a dog client and one cat icon to indicate a cat client. Other businesses use a flag like the gold star to mark their most highly valued customers. However you choose to use it, we hope that this feature will enhance your experience with leash time.